Hargreaves, chance for Torquay! Chris Hargreaves, the captain! If he stays onside, Carlisle checks instead. He's looking for Benny and Sills! Hello and welcome to part two of Talky Talk. Uh, go on, Tom. It's your turn. Tom, social media roundup of the week. Oh, he, wow. he, he, needs, he, needs, that. he needs a, he needs a jingle for 23, 24, doesn't he? Yeah. 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 I was thinking how we can improve it. So there, there we go. I'll make it for next year. There you go. Is That'll be our question. Is he going to take over your task as presenter and kick you out, Sam? Is that what's going to happen? Yeah, well, you know, I'll go over to um, Dawkin. Talk. <laughs> talk, <laughs> talk. <laughs> um, into the social media roundup then. So today's question, um, based on the Torbay Weekly article that came out today regarding uh, Gary Johnson, um, they reported that the club staying full time, this might increase the chance of Gary Johnson staying on as manager. Um, there were three options that were given as possible um, for next season. And they were Gary to stay as manager, Gary to move to a different um, role within the club with Aaron Downs taking over as manager and a fresh start with a new manager from the outside. So we're going to start with the Facebook um, votes. Thank you very much to everyone who voted again. We really appreciate it. Um, so we have 32% of people who want Gary to stay as manager. Just 2% saying that they want Gary to move to a different role and Downsy to take over as manager. And 66% saying they want a fresh start with a new manager from the outside. So, again, it's sort of a two oh, to that's one. Tough. That's tough on Downsy, isn't it? Mm. Not that I'm in, in favour of him taking over, but, oh, my goodness, that shows the lack mm. of credibility he's got at the moment. So we've got some comments from the Yellow Army page. So we've got Dan Geary, who says, Boris Johnson to stay. We've got Chris Selway who says, if we can keep most of the team for next season, we'd be foolish to get rid. The basis for promotion is set up. Don't waste the chance. We've got Alan Taylor who says, I wonder if the defensive coach and scout Stevie Wonder are staying as well. So some tongue in cheek references here. But the um, team aren't our, our, our players though, isn't it? It's not just as easy as, oh, you'll stay lads, won't you? Mm-hmm. We've got Steve Browning who says he would like Gary Johnson to stay as a football director of football and someone else coming in, possibly a player coach. Uh, I wouldn't be Roger. again. I have to say on that topic, I wouldn't be against that. I think that mm. whether or whether he's been found out tactically, whether it's been found out in recruitment or whatever, I don't know. Whether it be an age thing potentially that you know a lot of people you look at people like you know the model that worked with Steve Perryman at Exeter worked so well, didn't it? You know, you have mm. that that yeah. kind of that experienced football yeah. person, you know, as an overview. Has no is at the training ground sometimes is is not you know kind of is not you know necessarily taking training every day but is there and is around the club but can you know talk about you know pick up bits of things about um, players and recruitment and all that kind of stuff as well a bit more but then you have a younger more hands on coach who picks the team who is then you know has a hand in recruitment and what goes mm-hmm. on with that director of football that was what mm-hmm. worked so well with Perry Ben and Tisdale wasn't it you know you get a relationship like that that works and that can work very well so I wouldn't be against that. You know, necessarily, not a, but not, not with Downs as the manager. It's I, I, not an option I'd thought of before, but yeah. It, it would no, be I agree. Fun. I hadn't. Didn't start mm. book do that. He always, always had it yes. for like four days, and yes. it? it is something mm. that I would agree on at times. Yeah. But mm. I think he to be, if he's going away, he needs to be a totally away. Yes. That's the trouble. That. Will, he, will he sort of be in the sort of shadow, you know, in the shadows when he, you know, Gary Johnson's I, there. And if you have a bad brother form, is it, oh, Gary will take charge now? You don't want it mm. to be like that, do you? If I don't think. Get, if you're going to get a younger man and he's got to be a proper character who can. Mm. I don't think Gary's at, ideas, so. I don't. I don't think Gary's at this stage of his career where he would want to kind of take a backseat role. I think he still yeah, sees himself probably. that he can offer something as a manager, even this late into his career. There's um, got to be a firm understanding of how it's going to work and how the harmony will work within the club, is not it? Yeah. yeah so uh Roger Metcalf says keep with Gary. Uh we've got Mark Hepworth who says the only positive I can see from this is if Gary has some Paul in Newbley signing again and Jarvis staying for next season. Yeah. Uh we've got Philip Coombs is Philip Coombs says Gary Johnson's yellow army. Uh Lee Collett says it needs to change. I want Stella signing, not Marquis signings. <laughs> Less Corey Andrews, please. Craig, Craig Hughes says it has to be a fresh start with a new manager. What happens if we keep Gary Johnson and 10 games in? We are doing crap in the league. Lessons not learnt. And that uh, is something that we've discussed offline. And that is a massive mm-hmm. risk that as a club yeah. you have to wear. If he says, yeah, he's a man, he's staying. 
like we did with ours that time when he, you know, he did her to the sinking ship, not not taking it down from day one, like like Gary Johnson has. But if mm. you then have a poor start to next season, at what point do you say, actually, we're going to pull the plug? We've made the wrong decision here. And it's a different situation because this man's brought us down. So you could say, oh, well, you mm. brought us down. Well, you bloody well bring us back up again. But how, but if you have a poor start, how long do you, you know, we're 15th after six or eight games like we were last time. Mm. In the South. How long do you put it up for? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Mm. in the South. Like I said, like next season, if if we are in the South, because we still have that very tiny chance that we might actually pull this off. My aspirations imagine are... It. Imagine if we stayed up. Mm, my aspirations for the South are to be one of that top two. We have to be fighting for promotion. Mm. If we're not, then we're going to be in that league for an awful long time and we'll just fall away of like Kidderminster and your Chesters and all that who have been in the North mm. system for ages. A um, few more. We've got Lee Kirkman who says he says, I'm afraid to say it, it has to be Gary Johnson. No manager of note and not in our budget range will drop into the National Sunday League. Um, should we have still been here? Absolutely not. But replacing him with Dave, who once led Duck and Duck to the same uh, rubbish London Sunday League title and came on as a sub for Chesham United in the London Series uh, Senior Cup, isn't going to be a better option. Um, I know what he means. <laughs> Basically, I, I think he's. I think what he's saying is um, he doesn't want someone coming in that doesn't have the experience of Gary Johnson, who doesn't mm-hmm. know what he's doing and has only been managing in the lower, lower end of the division. Yeah, but I don't think we never change managers at all, though, would we? We'd always keep the same managers forever if we're always worried about who's next on the line. You know, you've got at some point say we can find somebody else who's going to do something for mm. us. Can't, can't stay with people forever just because they've, you know, they've had a good CV mm. in the past and you're worried about who the replacement is going to be. I, mean, I know we haven't got a lot of trust in our owners, but mm-hmm. I don't know, the fear factor of who will come in, it, it seems to be overriding a lot of people yes i tell you what i saw a name mentioned somewhere last night i don't know where i don't know why where this came from um i saw it mentioned on something on social media last night was a sort of name that i guess you would be looking at was daryl mcmahon somebody who has Mm. has managed managed that you know uh, you know at national league level thought it was a bit harsh really when he left dag in the middle obviously decided that he wasn't their man and they brought strevens in a bit early to assess the squad before the end of the season but um he's the sort of person that you would think Again, all of this, oh, who's going to want the talkie job and all that? It's an attractive job. It it's is a club that is going to be going for giant. going for promotion. Giant. Yeah, exactly. You know, the classic, you know, I'm wake, you know, waking the giant yeah, and all I think that. It's a really, I it think is think an attractive it's a good job. opportunity, it is. isn't it? Yeah. And you have to remember, if you haven't got a job, any job's an attractive opportunity, you know? But you're getting 2,000 mm. fans and we'll still keep getting exactly. support next season. It's still yes. a good size club. Yeah. I don't think people should and be you, worried you, that you can't get anybody. And if you just kind of have a bit about you, you'll have a title on your CV. Yes. And the last one was Craig Tout, who says Gary Monk. Huh? That's the comment. Where's he now? He's a coach somewhere, isn't he? I don't know, actually. Gary well, no, I that, sorry. sorry, Gary Monk. Oh, Gary Monk. Isn't he like, wasn't he championship? Or he was championship something? many times and he failed. He won't come down. He was Swansea, yet. wasn't he? For he? He failed a lot. Um, where was his last club? He won't very far. He won't Bondi? Bondi? Middlesbrough. No, he managed a few since then. Birmingham was the last one. He'd done the right job. Birmingham, yeah. And he's done not yeah. many jobs elsewhere. He won't come down here now, though. I don't think he's National League no. South quite, is he? No. <laughs> was it last match for Wednesday? Or was he... No, Darren Moore's there now, isn't he? I think that was his last job. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, 23 um, was his last job. And that's everything I can see on Facebook. There's a couple of tiny like references though. from people there, but yeah, yeah, be they good. They've got but... a strong character come in and get stuck in, haven't they? They've got to have a few contacts about them, but just bring something to the club and get us all, get our morale up, haven't they? Yeah. You know, get us get us dreaming oh. again and, um, yeah. and get us playing good football as well, hopefully. We want to see a team that's yeah. going to be entertaining to watch, get the supporters excited. Yeah. There's Gary Johnson's tactics of they've looked old school this year. They when they work, they can be quite exciting, but they've been a lot of like dull kind of repetitive football that just you just feel like you've seen it all before at this point, don't you? I think. Mm-hmm. But we'll see. And then just the we asked the same question on um our Twitter as well. Um can't see any comments on there. Thought there were earlier, but Basically, the same question. So we've got 30.9% who want Gary to stay, 
4.9 who want Aaron Downs in with Gary in the new role and 64.1 saying they want someone new and a fresh start as manager. So thank you very much to everyone who contributed this week. I've learned a lesson. I'll make sure I go over these before we start recording for the next season. Um, but no, we do appreciate nah, everyone. Go, go and... straight into it, mate. I never planned. Yeah, it go always, straight into it. It always went well for me. With never failed before, <laughs> did it? <laughs> but no, um, yeah, so the consensus is, I would say it's probably, you know, two thirds want something new and one third seem to be happy with what we've got. So I think it shows what an impression Gary Johnson's made, didn't he, in his first few years because it's been a, a shambles this year and a lot of people will stick with him. We'll yeah, with him and that, you know, that's, mm-hmm. we, we have our own opinions on stuff, don't we? And um, there is a lot of worry, isn't there, about who would replace him? Mm-hmm. I think that overrides a lot of the, the votes. Yeah. But, so, but it's all yeah. about what the club do, right? Yeah, and how they recruit. They need to, whoever's in charge, they need to go, right, here's a recruitment plan. We're sticking to this. We're going to get good recruitment in. Um, where it's made for talking, not London contacts, because unless you've got a good budget, you can swing down on it, it's not going to happen. Um, you can get contacts pretty local, local manager who lives locally, um, and then just go from there. If there's actually a plan in place, it's fine. Look at mm-hmm. look at the Premier League, you look at some clubs like Brighton, Brentford, or well, Brighton's the best one. They changed their manager, they got it right, but their recruitment so spot on that it's yeah, always yeah. hard to replace. Yeah. That's why Brentford went up for the leagues, they kept being a selling club, and they still it in these a manager who's gonna. No, know what they are about. Know what tactics exactly. you still need a good manager, for. but you need a know good how they're going to the build the squad and what they're aiming to do. Because absolutely, yeah. But, it, that, but you look at recruitment at all levels, though. Recruitment is king, isn't it? The that mm. phrase "recruitment is king" in football. You look at all levels. You look from our level and how it how poor recruitment suffers you like it has this season. you're up to look at you know you look at Liverpool over the last few years you look at the recruitment of when do they are very rarely do they waste a signing you look at you know Salah Mane Mane Allison Van Dijk. You know, Fabinho, these players over Getting the last year. the right year. pieces in place, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Mm. Just it's like whoever would join. Yeah, where Chelsea right now are just throwing a load of players yeah. together who have absolutely. no yeah. And you, gone like, yeah, and you look at, good. And you look at the way the Liverpool recruit. Yes, they've spent big money on some of these players, but they've, geez, if they had their monies with these people. Yeah. And, that, and that's what it's about, isn't it? You know, if we had our money with in football, people it, we signed. And yeah. I get fed up, oh, we're Devon, oh, we've had relegation money. No, we haven't. We've just recruited rubbish mm. and people haven't. Well, and it's it's all this recruitment. The players have got to step up. The players have hugely let themselves down and probably mm. thrown away their whole football career this year. It's I about, think it's true yeah, to it's a about point. Getting people like Winter and, it's about getting people like Winter and Cameron in, isn't it? People who are on the up who can take, yeah. you, take you fight about them as well. Yeah. So, so, I'll get I'll get good Saturday. Contact, right. so you get money. So. Well, before, before we go into Saturday, I think we'd be amiss not to mention before Ultragon, we did a Gary Johnson... Uh, in or out, didn't we? Whether we would have him, regardless of what division next season. Four hundred and ninety-six votes on Twitter. Um, plenty more on Facebook, but the Twitter one was pretty much fifty-fifty. Um, forty-nine point six percent percent of people want Gary Johnson in next season, regardless of division. Fifty point four said no. Mm. It's, so it's a crazy a good result to sway it because. A few mm. weeks before that, we'd have done it, and it would have been, would have been the same scenario. now after mm. watching the game. And granted, that was before the Ultrigan yeah. result, but um, man, split fan base. Uh, it's it's kind of been that way a lot, as we proved in the last poll. There's still a large section of the Yellow Army who seem to be quite happy with. I have to Gary say, I was surprised by that 50 50 because uh, you read far more negative than you do positive about him now, don't you? Mm-hmm. So I was surprised when I read that because I would have thought I'd have gone probably 65 35 if I was kind of guessing because there are a lot of people. Like I said, you know, I voted I voted no and he should go, not because I, mm-hmm. it would be the end of the world for me if he stayed, but because I agree with what Dom said, it's time for a change. This guy's okay. taking us down. Can't, and, yeah. you know, by him staying, you're, you're not quite rewarding failure, but you're not. Mm. addressing it are you you're just putting up with the same again the next season when he in a lower league it may well go and hopefully it will go better but it smells like you know a change needs to there's a sentimentality i think at talkie there always has been that once they like a person they like their character they don't wow. really want to let them go and that's yeah yeah, yeah you, you see can... that in yeah. bristos after we lose games don't you still clapping yeah. you know that loyal sort of like you know we'll be all right yeah. whatever we've got this we've got this guy in charge it'll be it'll yeah. be fine but 
Yeah. You got. I, I keep saying it. I keep saying it though. You got to live in the then and now. You can't. You can't rely on past glories and yeah. you know the memories of winning the National League South when I just lost my grandpa to cancer and you know a couple of months later we go win the league and the emotions I felt that day are incredible and something I'll treasure for the rest of my life as a Talk United fan. But ultimately, to be back in the National League South now under Gary Johnson hurts a lot more because no yeah. one, no one ever envisioned that we were going to be in this position. Um, look back, I look back at it and I think it actually started 2020. I mean, we had that great season, didn't we? But we failed to get those players on good contracts. If we uh-huh. had those players on good contracts, if, then we if could, it wasn't we could ref, have commanded transfer fees. And you, keep, you keep the thing rolling on, can't you? Because yeah. you're getting good money in. My, we, my lost, we lost about yeah. 12 of those players and we got 50 grand in total for them. That's yeah. not how good no. teams operate, is no, it? No, you're right, Dom. Yeah. But we've never operated like that, have we? Let's be frank. No, but that was we, a chance then, and I just don't think they were forward thinking enough to spend a bit more money, get these people on contracts, and yeah, yeah. Put release clauses in them so that if we didn't get promoted, they could go for cheaper. But at least we still had some yeah. sort of outgoing money. That's what teams like Bromley, Boreham, all that lot do. They yeah. get them on decent contracts. They get better money from when they come. They're not yeah. getting anywhere near the crowds we do, but they're getting the incomings, aren't they? That's so, true. Wrexham. We Last are one. Staying up. We are saying up. You come into the game, Sam. Me, yeah, man. Okay. Oh, Just check. Delighted. What do we reckon, lads? So excited. Anybody who any, I'd be, I'd, I'd be impressed if anyone, even me, who generally is more positive than you, miserable lot, um, this season. <laughs> That's um, no need but... for that. <laughs> we've, just, we've just pretty much been relegated from the entire league. What are you saying? We should happy, be happy, happy, you know, like jumping but, up and down laughing. But I'm the one at the bottom of the predictions league, aren't I? So, which explains because I'm positive and expect, I always hope we're going to win, and we haven't, which is why I'm bottom. So, mm. I now you know you can't see us winning. You know, I mean, I can, I can see it. I, you can envision the situation where we can win the game, depending on how the day goes. But you we don't expect. You can't see it happening, can you? I think it will be three one to Rexham. Yeah, I don't know. It's a different judge, isn't it? It could be a boring nil nil, couldn't it? So they both teams just sort of say, "I'm not going to bother too much." Yeah, but nil nil is not going to work for us, is it? We're going to have to go with the, go for the throat for minute one. Yeah, will no. we though? I, I don't we'll know. Have to. I don't know if we'll have that energy about us. I just think last week would have knocked the stuffing out of us. But hope to be proven wrong. But I'll I'll say three two Wrexham. Porky five. <laughs> Wrexham one six. Ted three maidenhead nil. Yeah, but imagine no, if we did stay up, it'd be amazing. Yeah. Wouldn't it? it would be You're amazing. Just pandering to the supporters now, Tom. They respect you more than that. You know, <laughs> yeah. silly to, to get it's not some popularity thing, you know. Like Chris every week. Oh, I'm going to say a win. I want to be popular. It's not, it's not about popularity. It's, it's about positive <laughs> mindset, Tom. <laughs> if we're going to have some positivity, I'm going to try now. Um, no, realistically. I don't, it just depends what Wrexham turned up, to be honest, because, you know, know, they've won the league. They've got big they've got... support, aren't they, I suppose, so they should be pushing them on. So. I think I think both teams will score. I think it'll be closer than it has any right to oh, be. The suspense is killing me, eh? Oh, God. His pie's burning. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be talky to Wrexham 4. Oh, my yeah. life. Nice one. Cool. 4-4? Four, four. No, 4-2. Two, two. Four. Oh, sorry, 2-4. I just thought <laughs> two, four. Traps. he was taking so long. <laughs> All right, 5-1 Torquay. There you go. I was, <laughs> yeah, 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 we go. I was thinking about Chris's pie. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm smelling now. So, thank you for watching us this season. We'll we'll let the dust settle. settle. Um, oh, we might do one next week. We'll see how it goes. And then we'll probably do a who do we keep, who do we not keep. Brutal edition this that'll year. Be, that'll, be, that'll be a nice little five-minute episode, Sam. What do you feel, everyone watching? <laughs> it was stopping um, midfield when we discuss Hanson, won't it? Be yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there we go, Dom's, Dom's funniest moments of the season. Yeah, we've got a few compilations and all that. Um, and then also, there'll be, I reckon this summer will be quite an interesting one of who's managing us next season and all that kind of stuff. So we'll do videos as and when, but thank you so much for joining us. Um, it's been a season that's put me through pain. I've had it's just been awful to watch. 
We try um, to be honest, lads, haven't we, and say yeah, what's wrong. Yeah. We're not yeah. sugarcoating things, yeah. are we? So it's... I was yeah. going to do a joke then about how it's been a terrible, painful time, and but then and the players have been bad too. Like, I didn't hey. know that to, but hey. uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's just on here. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it's been terrible. <laughs> I'll pay to it. But talking talk has been great and connecting with bands and all that. Um, and doing all these videos. I've got lighting now. Uh, still in my IT work clothes though, so we make sure I have uh, we could get we could get outfits yeah. next season. That's where the budget could go down. Outfits, we, yeah, we'll talk outfits. Talk outfits. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, we have... we'll, we'll try and improve a little bit next season. It's been really fun to kind of grow it, and then we'll see you all there. Any last words? I'll miss you guys. That's it. No, thank you for your support. Everybody who's watched. Yeah. I had some nice and comments. the whole of Talking Talk talk as well. Yeah. Not just our bit, mm. the whole Talking Talk yeah. has been amazing. We hope we hope you've Great enjoyed time. and respected our honesty this season. Mm. And Chris appreciates being recognised. He mentions it oh. constantly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we're not yeah, doing again, any more. Jealousy gets you nowhere, more. Tom. We're just because I have, just because I, just because I have a face, just because I have a face that people remember in the way that yeah, you don't. There's true. no need to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad um, they don't remember it. Oh uh, yes, no walkthroughs, no, no um, watch-alongs next season because we've no. lost all of them. And if I'm honest, I have to now I have to edit out because I, they... I can't put it on the internet. They, no, they, they are doing them. Sam. They love them. They, they, do, they are they doing are good content. They are doing them in the south next season. FYI. Are they? Are they actually? Yeah, I I believe so. I believe so. Oh, they be fun, they were trialing it. They were trialing it a couple of grounds in the south for next it, season. It so would be, it'd it. be fun if we actually won a few games on those walkthroughs. But yeah. it's just yeah, just nice. me. It was just me just having a, some sort of meltdown last week. I was yeah. just sat slumped in my chair. No one wants it's to see that. It's what the public wants. So. Yeah, yeah, that's great. what people want to see. Mm. Don't want to see fun. Oh, they want to see that. Think... Chris is going to have a meltdown if we don't end this episode though, because he he's going to have yeah. proper. Burnt pie now. There's... I love the fire brigade around him, but it's <laughs> going to be the biggest problem. <laughs> right, so we'll see you all in a bit. Thank you so much again, and thanks, guys, to TQ as well. Bye. Here's Hargreaves, the chance for talking. Chris Hargreaves, the captain. If he stays on side, Carlisle checks instead. He's looking for Banyan. Sell!